Hey there folks, it's been three months since the last Smog on Tier update. Uh, three months ago, Black and White 2 had just come out with all the new forms and all the new Dreamworld abilities, and so now we're seeing kind of the first real tiers of the Black and White 2 era based on the strength of the new Pokémon that are in Black and White 2. So we start off with the OUUU distinction, which is probably going to be the one that affects the most people. Uh, well, actually... Yeah, I think UU still pulls higher usage than NU, but I'm not 100% sure on that. So anyway, um, we have that uh, Mew... Oh, no, hold on, that's Verizion. Verizion, let's start off with Verizion. Verizion's dropping down to UU. This has been foreseen for a long, long time. People have been wanting this to happen for a long, long time, and now it's finally happened. So Verizion is UU... Uh, many, many people throughout the world is, are going to rejoice. Uh, Tornadus, also falling. Uh, people have been wanting this for a while, but now that Tornadus T is out, no one uses, it's not that no one uses Tornadus I, but very much few pe fewer people use Tornadus I. Uh, and so now Tornadus I is gonna get its shot in UU. Uh, Mew is falling back down to UU. This is really exciting for, well, me. I used to, uh, Mew on a UU team once upon a time, and I'm, I'll be grateful to have it back. Um, Meloetta is dropping down from OU to UU. Uh, it was released into OU. A lot of people said, based on its Dreamworld usage, it was gonna fall to UU, and this was definitely true. Meloetta is an interesting Pokemon, and people will say how awesome it is in OU. Uh, but really, I mean, and maybe that's true, uh, but just because it's UU doesn't mean you can't use it in OU, and now it'll get a chance to shine more in UU. Uh, finally, we have Obama Snow. Obama Snow, um, was, is, uh, Obama, Obama Snow, people were, it was looking like it was going to drop to UU, and it, yes, it would be allowed in UU now that Snow Warning is banned instead of, um, Obama Snow or Snover. Um, so Obama Snow might have dropped down to UU, but it's looking like it's going to stay in OU at least for another three months, uh, which is good because people were basically saying if it drops to UU, it's just going to keep on dropping because without Snow Warning, who the hell is going to use um, this Pokemon? So yeah, uh, Obama, Obama Snow is staying OU, and there it'll stay for a while longer. Now we come to UU and RU. Stoutland... Uh, with the banning of, um, Stoutland, it was looking like it might drop to RU, and it is indeed finally going to drop to RU now, um, without, uh, Hippopotas, uh, really that was kind of expected that it would drop sooner or later. Um, meanwhile, we have Cafagoras, uh, a staple of RU, is rising to UU, so if you have Cafagoras on your RU team, Sucks to be you. If you're someone who has an RU team that doesn't like Cafagoras, like me, it's actually kind of awesome. So, uh, yeah, bye bye Cafagoras. Um, Stoutland, now you can be used in RU. So, we'll see. Maybe there'll be RU sand teams now. I mean, you, obviously you can't use, um, one of the sand abilities, but you can still use Sandstorm, the actual move. Uh, so now we move down to, uh, the RU NU border. Uh, this was kind of, this is the one that's probably going to affect, I guess, the second most people after OU, UU. Um, we have that, uh, Metang is dropping down to NU. Sorry, Mulk, you couldn't keep him there, uh, in the PS era. I think Mulk might have actually been banned from PS. Um, if that's not true, I'm sorry that I'm slandering his good name. But, uh, yeah, so, um, Metang dropping down to NU, uh, Maybe someone will shed a tear. Uh, also, we have that Scolipede uh, is dropping down to NU. Uh, and Absol, it was looking like it might rise to RU uh, based on last month, but it's looking like it's going to stay in NU at least for another month. Uh, and finally, Roselia also looked like it was going to drop down to NU, but it's going to stay RU for at least another three months. Uh, so, yeah. Now we finally move to the most chaotic of the tier changes, uh, NU and R, and NU to PU. Uh, so many Pokemon, and so many of these Pokemon just moved up or just moved down, and a lot of these changes are now being completely undone and reversed. So, first of all, we have, um, Articuno, oh, hold on. First of all, we have that Articuno is rising to NU. This wasn't projected at all. 
Uh, it's actually kind of interesting that this has happened. Um, no one, I guess people are realizing that Articuno is kind of a potent Pokemon. I don't know. I don't use it. I haven't played NU in a while. No, well, I've actually been playing NU, but I haven't seen Articuno around. I mean, 4X weakness to rocks. It's kind of devastating. So, what else we got? Uh, Electrode is now going to be in NU and not PU. This is the reverse of three months ago, I'm pretty sure. Uh, also, we've got Electros. Where are you, Electros? Hold on a second. Uh, Electros is rising. Um, what else we got? Ditto is rising. This was expected. Uh, it's interesting that Ditto didn't rise any further, uh, but that's great because that means at least it'll be, it means you can't use Ditto in NU, or sorry, you can't use it in PU, but you can still use it in the other standard tiers. Uh, Cradilly is rising. And Zangoose is rising. And I believe that's the last of the ones that are rising up to, uh, NU. Um, yeah, so, uh, uh, I'm not sure why it's even there. Oh, yeah, Seismitoad, it looked like it was gonna drop, uh, Glaceon looked like it was gonna drop, and, uh, Le Leafon and Glaceon looked like they were not going to drop, sorry, going to rise, but, uh, these three stay in PU for at least another cycle. So now, uh, moving down to what's dropping for menu. Yay! Uh, Lanoon! That means I can use Belly Drum and Lanoon on my PU team again. Uh, actually, I think it means that I don't even have to change my, uh, PU team at all, because I never bothered updating it for Black and White 2, so now I can just, you know, continue using Belly Drum, Lanoon, and the rest of the team. Uh, although I'll probably still make changes, because I really didn't like, um, not to. Anyway, what else we got? Um, Electabuzz is dropping. Uh, Zebstrika is dropping. Flareon is dropping. Vile Plume is dropping. Uh, Great Cleric. Uh, it'll be nice to, for lots of people to use it in PU. Marowak is dropping. Um, I'm pretty sure that's the reverse of what happened three months ago. Gigalith is dropping. I know that's the reverse of what happened three months ago. Uh, Tangela is dropping. Um, Jumpluff is dropping. Tauros is dropping. Getting really crowded down here. Uh, Ursaring is dropping. Uh, Rampardos is dropping. And that's it. Uh, Leafeon was... Oh, never mind. Uh, yeah, that's it. That's the only differences. Uh, the, the Pokemon that are in NU and that I didn't just raise there were expected to drop, and now they're not going to drop. So they're in NU for another three months. So folks, those are the tier updates. I'm sorry if this video was a little bit confusing. Uh, this will all be listed in on the Smogon uh, forum thread that you can that's linked to in the descrip description. Um, enjoy the new metagames, folks.